Hey Aaron, my name is Hunter and I need help with my hill flips. Hey Hunter, thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. All looked pretty good. Front side 180 looked pretty good. Nice and popped. Back side 180 really good as well. Pop shove it. Nice. Front side shove it. Do we got it? Front side shove. Nice. I'm glad that you're following right. the trick order. On my hill flips, um, it seems to be when I pop it, it's, I don't think my heel is catching in the right spot. And when it does, it doesn't, it flicks too soon. I mean, too late. But I'll show you what it is and see if you see the problem is. Cool. So let's check out this. Let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, the heel flip is an interesting one because it's slightly deceiving. You want to like kick your foot straight off the side. Yeah, that's as close as I get to heel flips. But actually, the best way is similar to the kick flip. You want to actually kick your foot like more off the front. So that motion there looks good, but you want to you want to actually kick your foot more off the nose than that. And I kind of like imagine in my mind that the part of my foot that's doing the ollie, like the front part, it's like right where your pinky toe connects to the rest of your foot. There's like that little bump there. I always like to imagine that that part is the part that's actually flicking the heel flip. But let's check this out here. So watch this. My front foot comes up almost like very similar to an ollie, but I just know right at the end, I'm just going to pop my my ankle up and my heel off that side right there. But yeah, the straighter that you kick out, the more flick you're going to get on the heel flip. And you can experiment around for yourself with putting your foot more on the board and less on the board. I kind of, I do better with my feet just like that right there with my toes just hanging off. Now the other thing that I want to point out that I couldn't see very well because of the angle of your board is I always have my back foot back in that back pocket which helps out a lot. But here, do this right here. Just repeat this motion over and over and over again. And yeah, I want you to concentrate on trying to kick your front foot straight out off the nose and less off of the side. I think you're going to have a lot more luck actually getting it to flick that way. And then for the heel flip, what I want you to do is practice stepping off with your back foot. So just stand on the board, flick the foot, like pop it, flick your front foot off, and then step backwards with your back foot, step off of the board, and then just put your front foot on. And I want you to do that a whole bunch of times just to get used to the flick. And then once you're used to the flick, then you can work on putting both feet on. You can actually alternate one foot off and then the other foot off, but once you get that flick down, I think you're ready to just put it put it on. The other thing I would say is um, your all of your previous tricks did look good, but I think it would help you to do them moving also. So learn all those with a little bit of speed, and yeah, I just think that'll improve your skating overall. So all of these tricks are gone over in the skateboarding video, Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1. It is a digital download available at BrailleSkateboarding.com. As soon as you go there, you just pay for the video at $6.99, and then you get the download link in the email. It's instant, it comes right away, and then you can watch the video and learn all the steps. It's super detailed and really helpful, so check it out.